Weather was bad off Indonesia's coast, but was it bad enough to play a role in Flight 8501's disappearance? CNN's Tom Foreman has that. Don, investigators have to consider the possibility that weather brought this plane down because it went through such a huge band of terrible storms out there. And here are the three key questions viewers keep asking us. First, could lightning have done this? The answer is not likely. Modern aircraft are designed so they can be hit by lightning. The lightning travels along the metal skin and then is ejected off the wingtips or off the tail. Very unlikely that it would hit some sort of internal piece and do so much damage that it would bring the plane down. Second question, what if this storm is just huge and massive and so powerful that it creates huge turbulence and essentially tears the plane apart in flight? Again, very unlikely. If there's a maintenance problem, if there's something already wrong with the plane, then maybe that could happen, but not to a healthy plane in most circumstances. And lastly, what if this plane simply stalled in flight? What if there were so many low and high pressure areas happening so quickly that the plane lost a tremendous amount of speed at some point, it was only flying maybe 100 miles an hour, as some have postulated here, and it just started falling out of the sky? That can happen. If a plane gets that far, off of where it ought to be flying, essentially the airflow over the wings can separate from the wings. The pilot has very little control, and even at 32,000 feet, this plane could plummet to the water in 45 seconds or less, and it would take a very calm, very skilled crew to stop that before it was complete.